if a b and c are positive real numbers show that log a base b is equal to log a base c divided by log b base c hence or otherwise find the values of x for which 2 log x base 4 plus 9 log 4 base x is equal to 9 now let me divide the So now, they said show that log a base b is equal to log a base c divided by log b base c. Now, for us to do to prove this, you say let log a base b be equal to y. Now, I've known that log is equivalent to exponential. Now, or well, then now this is the base. You just like saying. log no this is a base this is a power and this is the answer now what we what this would be like is say so log a base b is equal to y so this is b Risk for y is equal to a. Now, that means that b y b will be to the power of y is equal to a. Now, taking taking log taking log to like taking log of this. Taking log to base C on both sides. Now, let's take log of base C to both sides. Now, log, we now have log B to power Y base C is equal to log a base c now there is a log reading rule which says if log a base b this is a log a base b raised to power m is equal to M log A base B. Now using this expression, we can now say this this term here is equal to Y log B base C or to log A base C. Now dividing both sides by in order to get to isolate y, you divide both sides by log b base c. Now, this will cancel out this. You are now left with y is equal to log a base c all over log b base c. And y is equal to from here y is equal to log a base b which is equal to this which is log a base c divided by log b base c so this is 
sixty five uh, so which is which proves log a base b is equal to log a base c divided by log b base c. Now, on that note, let's now solve the problem. Let me divide this board into three parts. Now, let's solve this problem, which says 2 log x base 4 plus 9 log 4 base x is equal to 9. Now, we we'll have to now change. We we'll say 2 log x base 4 plus we we'll now have to change the base of this the base of this log is 2 base 4 so log using the expression where now we say log 4 base 4 divided by log x base 4 equal to 9 now using this log rating rule which says log a base B is equal to log A base C divided by log B base C. That is change of change of log written base, now, which is what we did here. Now we also know that according to log written rule. Now let's now bring it down. Log two log x base 4 plus 9 log 4 base 4 divided by log x base 4 is equal to 9. Now according to the log reading rule which says that log a base a is equal to 1. So that means log 4 base 4 is equal to 1 because 4 raised to power 1 is equal to 4. So now let's substitute this log 4 base 4 equal to 1 into this equation. Now you have 2 log x base 4 plus 9 times 1 divided by log x base 4 equal to 9. Now with this, let log x base 4 be equal to be equal to v now substitution v anyway you see log x base 4 is substitute v there so then you have 2 v plus 9 all over v is equal to 9 so multiplying both side it's v and i have 2 v times v plus 9 divided by v times v is equal to 9 times v so 2 we now have 2v square plus this will cancel out here we have 9 equal to 9v so we now have 2v squared minus 9v plus 9 equal to 0 now let's factorize this now this has is 2v and v so the factor of this 2v times v will give you 2v square now what are the factors of this oh, sorry what are the factors of plus 9 
that when you sum them together, the factors of plus 9 and 2, that when you sum them together, it will give you minus 9. Now, let's use let's use a matrix form so now you have two one the factor of this is two and one now the factor of nine that will give you plus the minus nine will give you will be minus three minus three so two times minus three will give you minus six one times minus three will give you minus three so minus 6 minus 3, you sum them together, will give you minus, minus 9. Now, this minus 3 minus, minus 3 times minus 3 will give you plus 9, which is 6. So here will be minus 3, here is minus 3 equal to 0. Equal to 0. Now, let's clean this. Now, that means 2v minus 3 is equal to 0, or v minus 3 is equal to 0. So, if you move this minus, this minus 3 to this, and also move this minus 3 to this other place, you now have this as 2v equal to 3, or v is equal to now for this for 2v equal to 3 for you to have v now isolated you divide both sides by 2 so these two cancel like this you have v is equal to 3 all over 2 or v is equal to 3 now v is equal to 3 all over 2 or 3 now, and we know that log x base 4 is equal to v, is equal to v from here, log x base 4 is equal to v. So now, that means log x base 4 is equal to 3 all over 2 or log x base 4 is equal to 3 now according to the law of log written where you have log log a base b is equal to y which implies that b raised to the power y is equal to a so we're going to use that is transforming log region into indices so this is the relationship which also shows that b log a base b is equal to a So, this is by the way. Now, now using this, now let's say you now have you now have log. Okay, there's no need to put in log again. I'll be, I'll be explain that. So. So what we're going to do is the same. 4 raised to power 3 all over 2 is equal to x. Or 4 raised to power 3 is equal to x. Now you have for this you have 4 raised to power 3 times 1 all over 2 is equal to x. Or, or x is equal to 64 
now here x is equal to 4 raised to power 3 times 1 all over 2. Now, using the law of law, the law of indices where you have a raised to power m times n, a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of n. is also to the power of n in this form or a to the power of n or to the power of n so with this expression we can now be able to express this to say x is equal to 4 to the power of r or to the power of 3 so the square root of 4 is 2 to the power of 3 so x is equal to 8 or 64 so this is the final answer thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so when i make new videos you'll be the first to see it